little video today on uh, one thing that I think is wrong, a major fault with the Boxford lathes. They ain't got one of them. Well, this one has now. So I'm going to show, show you a um, little video of what we did. We added a handle. Um, it's a bit of an after video. Um, I made it a few weeks ago. I've been doing a bit of machining today and I've used it actually. And that's what just gave me a thought. Let's just show you what we've done. So the graduate hand wheel, you, get, you find them a lot on the MIFE and ML7s and other layers. When you want to sort of advance the, the carriage, on the Boxford, if you, you've no graduations, um, as in you, know, you can't tell, apart from the top slide, which if you want parallel turning, you've got to take a lot of time setting that up. And if you've moved it to do some other machining, you've got to reset it. Whereas you know the bed is parallel. Or it should be parallel to the work that you're machining. So where the hand wheel comes in on the lead screw is you can engage the carriage and then you can actually turn the hand wheel to progress the, the carriage. Let me just show you. Backwards and forwards along the bed. And obviously graduate you can then you know exactly how far you know you turn it into a piece if you're facing off something, you're facing to something, you can get that distance. So I'm just going to show you a little video now, um, what we, we actually did, just a, a few photographs mainly, a little bit of video, uh, just to show you the, the, the brilliant, I think, uh, sort of addition to the box of lathe. I've seen this done by a few different people, um, some go down the route of welding extension pieces on, um, machine at the end of the lead screw. This was actually done without touching the lead screw and basically undoing two bolts and then doing the machining two bolts to put it back on again so you've done no disruption to your lathe it took me probably half an hour if that to do it took me longer to actually paint the hand wheel a similar colour to the to the lathe so we'll just show you that now first job using the appropriate allen key remove these two bolts which then uh, removes the bracket on the end of the lead screw so the original shape as you can just see on this one um, we just machined off this face, as you can see on this picture. Um, it took about three eighths of an inch off, didn't go too daft, you can just see on there, but I left it where it's then we can then file, just take the, uh, you know, put the radius back in so it, it, hopefully it looks like it's from the factory which was uh, it was intended to be done. Just be careful when you do machine off, don't take too much. You can see on this picture here, there is a little well, a little oil well inside uh, for the end of the, the lead screw. Um, we just machined it off and that's how and just put a nice little sort of rounded edge profile back on just with, just with a file I'm not bothered painting this face uh, so it's, it's an old lathe a um, bit of paint missing but it's a machine face so it doesn't really need it then we just added a little uh, indicator a little scribe just scribed a, a little piece of aluminium um, drilled the end of the this bracket again I think it was a 4mm just put a little little uh, allen dome dead allen bolt in there and you can see that's it fitted and um, just nice little graduation so you can just uh, obviously move the exact amount that you want and to fit the hand wheel onto the lead screw i think it was a might have been a myford um metric hand wheel that we used um so i'll just put it on the rotary table drilled these three little uh allen, little corn allen uh grub screws in there i uh, went for three uh, didn't bother putting the keyway and we could use the keyway if you want to do that do that just thought this was simpler and easier uh, i've used the three so it's, it's centralizing it perfectly on the on the shaft uh, this was reamed out half an inch, which is the same as the, the end of the, the, the lead screw. Um, you can put a bit of Loctite when you fit it if you want. I've not done. I've, 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 it's got perfect drive. There's enough power, you know, enough grip in there to turn it. Uh, also, just fitted on the end um, a 3D printed, just just a, to, like a cap finishing cap, just to finish it off. It doesn't really need that. That's totally up to you. And there you can see the hand wheel uh, all fitted in place. Uh, so you can see the bit of machining. Um, I say hopefully it looks original and I've got some paint close I can sort of, sort of mix it to but it doesn't really matter uh, on, on there. So there you have it YouTubers. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, I'm sure you'll find the hand wheel very helpful. I do. Uh, like I say, I've used them a lot on the Myfords. Uh, it was just something I felt was missing. And uh, like I say, I just hope it's just a, an easy way of doing it. Um, and you have a go at yourself. So if you don't mind uh, liking and subscribing to the channel, that'd be fantastic. And until next time, YouTubers, it'll be great.